Oh my gosh, you guys, you won't believe what this yard sale has today. I'm out yard sailing. Look at this. We've got we've got Monarch first edition uh, uh, cases at a thousand dollars with a great lively of Solano for seventeen hundred. Uh, we've got uh, a, a Crucible of War booster box for thirty eight hundred with a shard for thirty five. We've got a, a first edition. Look at that. Look at that first edition Arcane Rising case right there. See, it says first edition. So it must be legit for sixteen thousand and a a basically a, a just a basically a raw eye for ten thousand, and then we have an alpha box for twenty seven twenty five thousand dollars for an alpha case. Look, it says alpha, and that's got to be an alpha heart. It has to be for twenty thousand dollars. Oh my gosh, it's at a yard sale, everyone! At a yard sale. <laughs> I want you to pretend that this video was real and that we were actually at a garage sale. And at this garage sale, you saw these actual prices, which is about what the market price is right now. You're not getting any yard sale deals here. Now, here's what I want to talk about. This video, we're going to chat about the idea that right now the market doesn't make any sense for the Library of Solana. I want to back up and say I myself have purchased two Library of Solanas. My average price point is around $1,500. So I am not biased at all in this. Uh, this is the point. The Library of Solana is more expensive than a case of Monarch. Every other set we have here, a case of a case of the edition is worth more. So imagine that you're hanging out and you're at a garage sale. You know nothing about this game. So you pop up and you're looking at the price and you're saying, hey, why, why, did, why are those priced like that? What's the yard sale guy going to say? He has no reason. It doesn't make any sense. The entire time the library has been around on the market, the price of the library has been higher than a price of a case which doesn't make sense based on the other three things that we have in the market. Every other time in the market, look at this, every other time in the market, the, the card has been less than a case. Now, I know that this is supply and demand. I know what the issue is. I'm not stupid. There are more cases. People didn't open up cases uh, and that's driving the price down. But what I think can be garnished is that long term, I think that we are all overpaying for library, uh, for the great library of Solana. Uh, so I don't know. I think a more accurate price right now for the library will be sitting around the $1,200 mark. It appears that we're getting there. Uh, but cases keep falling in price. And I think you really need to look that as cases fall in price, um, you will start seeing uh, the library fall in price. Now, I think this is a great tool to look at as a result of um, every time a box gets opened or a case gets opened, uh, the supply of cases goes down and you know one in every 40 or one in every 10 cases, the supply of the single goes up. So as boxes are opened, okay, this will go down or the pressure on it will be more pressure. Uh, but that will go up. So as we go forward, I just want to encourage you to have diversity in your assets. A lot of people are selling Monarch first edition cases right now. Uh, and I don't know if you have some that you're holding back or what, but please make sure that you have diversity because as things go, you can't put the cards back in the case. It's not possible. That's why we start seeing these case prices rising at more extreme rates than the single prices. Uh, and this is across the board. You can see, I mean, these prices are, are relatively accurate. I don't know how perfectly accurate they are. Uh, it would be really difficult to find a case of uh, alpha. It'd be really difficult. I'm like rolling around in the garage. It would be really difficult to find a case of alpha right now. There's just so few of them. Uh, and that will not be the, the same, I don't think, for Monarch. Although, as Monarch approaches lower prices, more and more of it's going to get opened. Crucible is going to be the most interesting of all these, I think. Um, these have already kind of locked in that idea. The question will be, does did people hold a lot of Crucible cases or not? And I'm not sure what the answer is to that, honestly. Uh, but I am curious to see what happens. Uh, that being said, I think right now the library is a little bit overpriced. I almost, I don't regret buying it because I don't re ever regret buying anything. Uh, I had my target price for buying one because I didn't pull one. That's why George says that James White hates me. I didn't pull one, um, and so I knew that I wanted one, and you never know what the market's gonna do. I didn't know the market was gonna tank so hard on Monarch. Honestly, I thought the bottom for Monarch was gonna be around uh, around $300 a box, um, and we approached, we're approaching $200 a box, which would put cases 
at 800, so my target should have been a thousand dollars. Uh, but instead, my target was it was really 1,800. But I, I, I bit off early and I bit one at two grand. Uh, but then I actually ended up getting another one at a thousand. So like I've kind of evened out my you know dollar cost average. Um, but that being said, I still think we're overpaying for the library until we stop seeing uh, the case prices drop lower. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's great to see cards at a yard sale though. I never thought I'd see flesh and blood cards at a yard sale. Hope you guys have a great day. Remember to be kind to the people around you. We'll see you again later.